Hello and welcome to your daily dose of complete health with your local chiropractor, Dr. Patrick Hock. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Good morning, this is your daily dose of complete health with your local chiropractor, Patrick Hock. And wow, I just wanted to say this feeling comes up so often for me. It's really interesting because chiropractors have potentially in this country on a number of occasions, and they have done it in Ireland, they've wanted to withdraw our ability to x-ray. At certain occasions, at certain points within the profession, there has been discussions that taking x-ray away from chiropractors is potentially something that they wanted to do. However, this is really interesting because when we look at the facility that we have here with x-ray, it's amazing some of the things that I've seen over even just the last year. It's amazing some of the things that I've seen just over the last year that I would not have known was there had I not had clinical x-ray. So here's just a couple of things that I've seen in the last year on x-ray that people may not have seen had we not had this facility in the clinic. So I've seen huge scoliosis, which is a big curve in the spine. Um, and some of the damages that this has been starting to cause and to what degree and what severity that that was there. I've seen broken bones and actually funny enough, I've got a client coming in today who had a broken bone which was spotted on our x-ray machine. Which got, by the way, if this person hadn't had an x-ray, they would not have known it was there. I've seen bony growths, I've seen dislocations, I've seen misaligned vertebrae. Uh, the point is, is that what we've ended up seeing on our x-rays is massive. And these things would not have been picked up. Things like osteoporosis, potentially, blown discs. All of these things get picked up first just by getting some clinical imaging. Now, ironically, a number of cases that I've seen where I've seen blown discs or vertebrae that are crush fractures because someone is osteoporotic, that doctors have labeled as a muscle spasm. Now, really interesting, if a person has come to see us with low bone density and they're osteoporotic and they've been labeled as having a muscle spasm and they see a chiropractor and they've been told they're safe to do activity and a chiropractor does an adjustment on someone who has low bone density and they do a full manual adjustment, that person could have a spontaneous break. Now, this is the point of safety, of understanding imaging. Having imaging can start to give us those tools and facilities to understand the problem. Now, is imaging always necessary? No, but the point is, is if the case decides that that is something that someone needs, then imaging can be hugely helpful. So this was really interesting. The person that came to see me, they had very acute back pain, um, very tender to touch, and just something didn't feel right because of the mechanism of injury of what was going on, the type of twist and bend and lift and carry that triggered this person's pain, the age of the client and the gender started to bring some thoughts into my head that I've gone, I've seen this pattern before. Now on many occasions, people would not have x-rayed this person. However, something indicated to me that this case was not correct. And as my gut feeling tends to pick up, this person had had a spontaneous break in their back. Now, ironically, like I say, we have potentially saved that person from having more damage occurred because we took the imaging. So now we can get the right letters written up and we can get them referred to the right people. We can start managing this person's symptoms better because we have the imaging. So we know that we're not gonna necessarily be able to adjust this person. Why? Because this person would get worse with adjusting. And that is when taking an x-ray can be super helpful because now I know that I'm potentially not the only person that this person should be seeing in order to solve their problem. And that, my friends, is called good practice. Patrick here from Complete Health, maybe you need to understand your problem a little bit better and maybe you've been struggling to get some further investigation from your doctors and you really want to know what it is that's actually causing your problem and you maybe want to see a little bit more information as to what's going on with your spine, that is when these facilities are great. So obviously here at Complete Health, we do have the facilities to see inside the body and see exactly what is going on. Patrick here from Complete Health, this is your daily dose. We will speak to you again soon. Take care for now.